Uh, but one other thing is that there was another African, um, second best goalkeeper in the world, Edward Mundy mm. of uh, Senegal, and he plays for Chelsea. It's a very bizarre season for him. Yep. I didn't know who he was two years ago. And all of a sudden, he's won the Champions League. Yep. Second best goalkeeper in the world. Yep. Yeah. And some even think he was in with a strong shout of being the best goalkeeper in the world. In fact, social media was agog with news of how he should have gone on. I mean, because he, everything it. he's done for Chelsea, I mean, 16 clean sheets. What, what else are they looking so for? So it goes back to that fun. argument around exactly. the Euros. Absolutely. Absolutely. Donnarumma. Yeah, Donnarumma, Donnarumma yeah. won the Euros. Absolutely. Donnarumma was, I think it was the MVP of the Euros, right? Yes, he was. Exactly. So if you are, the, you are a goalkeeper and you are MVP of the entire Euros, I think because he's be not particularly nailed on that number one shirt at PSG. But also, it's a strange situation because when he plays, everyone knows that the Navas Donnarumma situation will play out in a way that Donnarumma will eventually be mm -hmm. number one. And I mean, he showed more than enough, you know, at the Euro, stopped a lot of penalties. I mean, Italy were, were, on, were on an absolute tier and he was the best mm -hmm. player, you know, in that Italy right. team. So, yes, to some extent, as an African, I thought that, you know, Edward, you know, should have gone on to win it. But um, he's had to also, you know, be great Donnarumma. Oh, 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 oh,